Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this video, we are talking about factors and multiples. At the first, we need to find the agreed common factor of each of the following. If we need to find the agreed common factor for 12 and 18, what is the meaning of the agreed common factor? The factor at the first, if I say 8 is equal to 2 times 4, we can say that 2 and 4 are called the factors of 8. So we need to find the agreed factor of 12 and 18. How we can find it? Number one, we need to factorize 12 and 18. So I will start with 12. I need two numbers. If you multiply them, the answer will be 12. So we have here 4 and 3. 3 is a prime number. So we can say that 4 is equals 2 multiplied by 2. So we can say we have here 12 is equals 2 times 2 times 3. Now the same for 18. 18 is equals 3 multiplied by 6. 3 is a prime number. So we can say that 6 is equals 2 times 3. We have here the factors of 18 would be equals 2 times 3 times 3. Don't try two different numbers under each other. Now we need to find the greatest common factor. To find the greatest common factor, all what we have to do just from each column we will choose one. So we have 2 times, we have 3 is repeated, so we have 3. So we can say that the greatest common factor would be 2 multiplied by 3, which equals 6. So for question number 2, by the same way, we have 12 and 66. So for 12 would be equals, we have 2 multiplied by 6. 2 is a prime number. 6 would be equals 2 multiplied by 3. So we have here 12 is equals 2 times 2 times 3. Now for 66. 66 is equal to 6 multiplied by 11. 11 is a prime number. And 6 will be equals 2 multiplied by 3. So we can say that 66 is equals 2 times 3 times 11. Don't try two different numbers under each other. So we can say that the greatest common factor will be equals. From each one line, we can choose one number. So we have 2 multiplied by 3 will be equal 6. And that's how we can find the greatest common factor. In this part of the lesson, we'll know how to find the least common multiple of each of the forms. We need to find the least common multiple of 2 and 3. What is the meaning of the multiple of a number? The multiple number, that's the number that you can find at the time table of the number. So we can say that the multiple of 2 are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. The multiple of 3, we can say that would be 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. The number that you can find at the time table of 3. So we need to find the least number of them. So how we can find it? Number 1, I will start with factorization. 2 is a prime number, it means factors will be 2 and 1, so I'll just write 2. 3 is a prime number, so I'll write 3. So we can say that 2 is equals, 2 multiplied by 1, I'll just write 2, and 3. Don't write two different numbers under each other to find the lowest common multiple. All what we have to do just, from each one column, I'll choose one number. Even if this column is repeated or not repeated. For the greatest common factor, I just take the repeated number. But for the lowest common multiple, even if the column is repeated or not repeated, I will write. So we have 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. Again for number 60. By the same way, we know that 5 is a prime number. So I just write 5. 6, I need two numbers. If you multiply them, the answer will be 6. So it will be 2 multiplied by 3. 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. So just write 6. Don't try two different numbers under each other. So we have here 2 multiplied by 3. So we can find the lowest common multiple will be equals. From each column, we have one number. So we have three columns, so it would be 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, which equals 2. 5 times 2 equals 10, times 3 equals 30. So we have here the lowest common multiple, which is 30. The smallest number that we can divide it by 5 and 6, which is equal to 30. In question number 23, we have three numbers, and we need to find the lowest common multiple. By the same way that we use it for the two numbers, we'll use it for the three numbers. At the first, I will factorize each of them. We know that 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2. Both of them are prime numbers. So we can say that 4 is equal to 2 times 2. 5 is a prime number. Don't try two different numbers under each other. We know that 10 is equal to 2 multiplied by 5. We have 2 and 5. So we can say that 10 is equal. I will write 2 under 2 and 5 under 5, so we can find the lowest common multiple will be equals. From each one column, I will choose one number. So we have here 2 times 2 times 5. 
2 times 2 equals 4 times 5 equals 20. So the smallest number that we can divide it by 4, 5, and 10 will be equals to 20. And this part of the lesson will know how to use the greatest common factor and the lowest common multiple in the problem solving. For the table that we have, we have three types of different cakes. So the problem wants to rearrange the cakes and putting the same number of cakes in each row. How we can solve it? We need to find the greatest number of serving each row. To find the greatest number, it means we need to find the greatest common factor. So from each number, I will factorize it to find the greatest common factor. We know that 10 is equals 2 multiplied by 5. We have two prime numbers. 10 is equals 2 times 5. Now we have 15 is equals 3 times 5. Both of them are prime numbers. So we can write 15 as 5 multiplied by 3. Don't write two different numbers under each other. So I write 5 under 5 and make one line for 3. Now we have for 20 would be equals 4 multiplied by 5. 5 is a prime number. 4 would be equals 2 multiplied by 2. So we can say that 20 is equals. I will write 2 under 2. 5 under 5. Still, we have one more two. I will write here two. So to find now the greatest common factor for each of them. Now for each one repeated number, for each number which is repeated, I will choose it, so which is five. We have two is repeated twice, but not repeated at 15. So I will not choose two. Just to choose the number that's repeated at the three numbers. So we have here the greatest number will be equals five. So for each row, we have five elements on. And this problem, we have Renesto has a painting class every two weeks. Kamala has poetry class every five weeks. We need to find when they will meet together. When I'm asking you when they meet together, it means I need to find the lowest common number. So we have here two and five. We need to find where they will meet together. It means we need to find the lowest common multiple for two and five. So we just factorize two. We know that two is a prime number. So I'll write two equals two. And we have 5 is a prime number, so it will be also equals 5. To find the lowest common multiple will be equals. From each column, I will choose one number, even if this number is repeated or not repeated. So we have here 2 multiplied by 5, which equals 10. It means they will meet after each 10 weeks, they will meet one time. So we have here a painting class for each 2 weeks and poetry for each 5 weeks. So they will meet together. They will have the same day together for each 10 weeks. And that's how we can use the greatest common factor and the lowest common multiple in the problem solving.